Ah, my hearties, a very good evening to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say Scotty McClure with a quick pop-up just for you saying dinky-doo. I hope you're well, you've had a fantastic week, and you're ready to come on and do business and let me know what is what. It's always lovely to have you with us, of course. Great to pick up on all the chat, and of course, everybody likes a little bit of a pop-up with Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. And hopefully you're watching right now, and you can come and join us and say dinky-doo. Kenny Ward's just joined us. Lovely to have you with us, and a big dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClure, of course. Gordon Sterling, you're absolutely on cue tonight. Uh, what night is this, Gordon? Have you any idea? If you find out, could you let me know? Because that would be fantastic. Scott are here, dinky do. Lovely to have you all with us, of course. And great to have a quick pop up just to say hi. There's Tony Mack. Excellent stuff. Good to have you with us, Gordon. I hope you're well. And dinky do, as we say, spread the word, everybody. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten. Here's Thomas. Hello, pal. Hope you've had a good day. Excellent day, Thomas. And I hope you've had a good day. Very, very important as well. Where's your hat, says Scott? My hat is here, Scott. I have it here, but I've been advised I look better without the hat. So there you are. I don't know what we think about that, but we can chit-chat as the evening goes on. Evening good, sir, says Tony. Nice to see you again, and you, Tony, of course. Uh, is this last Thursday's pop-up? No, 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 Gordon. No, no, that would be a watch party. This is absolutely live. Dinky-doo, just talking to you right the new. Hi, Scotty, says Ian Stewart. Hello, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do Angela Goodlett, Andy Simpson. Lovely to have you with us as well, of course. Good evening, says Regan Clark. Good evening, Regan. Great to have you along, and welcome, welcome, welcome. As I say, if you can all share and share and share, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue popping up just for you. There's the wonderful Alan Brown in Washington, D.C. Uh, how's the dog doing, says Thomas. He's doing very, very well, Thomas. And thank you very much for asking. That is excellent. Very well indeed. Just as I say, a quick pop-up just to say hi. There's Steph McLaren's watching. Always good to have you with us, Steph and Dinky Do from me, Scotty McClue, to every single one of you. How's the lighting tonight? Is everything just Dinky Do? Is it looking as it should, I say, on a Scotty McClue pop up just for you? So uh, do tell. Let me know what you think. Picture all right. Lighting all right. Everything coming across just as it should should. Wonderful. Um, have you had a good week? We've had an excellent week. Thanks very much, Fiona. And uh, great to hear from you, Scotty McClue, saying dinky-doo and uh, hi to Fiona McDonald there. Very, very good week. In fact, an exceptionally good week, I would say. So that's always good. That's always great stuff. And um, good to hear from everybody on here. There's Rab Hill, of course. Hello, Rab. Always good to know that you're there, and dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClue to Rab. Rab's very good at uh, coming and joining us. And, of course, you've had so many watch parties. Some of you probably think, is this a watch party, or is this real? <coughs> Getting ready for a big house move next Friday, says Tony. And uh, moving to my native Southside Car Donald. Ooh, very nice. I spoke to you on the radio one night when I was drunk. So it's Regan Clark. That's all right, Regan. I don't think you were the only one. There are one or two people who have spoken to me when drunk. So they are. It'd be nice to speak to you sober. Boo, says John Gallagher. Oh, what a fright you gave me there, John. All right, Scotty, looking lovely as ever. Oh, Reb, thanks very much. You say the nicest things, and I hope you are dinky do. Are we better without the bonnet, though? That's the thing. I think maybe... We'll do without the bonnet and see what's what. The only thing is, some people think, who's that? The face is familiar, but I don't know who it is. And, of course, with the bonnet, everybody says, oh, it's Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. So there we are. Um, just a quick pop-up. We probably won't stay long, but I like to say hi to all of you. And uh, good to know you're out there. Uh, there's Michael Parcell. Dinky-doo, Michael. Good to have you with us. 
very exciting times, I say, at the moment politically. What are you all thinking about that then? There we go. It's, uh, it's been quite an interesting week and uh, always keen to have your opinions on what you think about that. So do let us know. Mark Wilson, thank you, do. Lovely to have you. Julie Shaw, good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Julie. Always lovely to have you with us and a warm welcome. And uh, what I'm just going to do, I'm going to share so that everybody knows that we're on. So if you can do the same, that would be great. Share, 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 share. There we are. That's getting shared. Excellent. And uh, I'll also share to uh, to the group and let the group know that we're on as well. So uh, share now in public. Tell them. Tell 10 to tell 10. And as I say, if you can all do the same, that's always great stuff and very much appreciated. Um, do you like the pop-ups? I always think it's good stuff. Just pop up and say hi to everybody. And uh, I'll share it over on the Scotty McClue page as well. So if you can do that, that would just be dinky-doo. Make this your weekly appointment with Scotty McClue. I'm sharing over to the Scotty McClue page. There are several pages, actually. There's dinky-doo. So have a look at that. Julie Shaw says, how are you and Clyde tonight, Scotty? We are wonderful. He's in spectacular nick for his age, as I say. Um, he will be 13, coming up 13, which is uh, incredible um, for, for labs. They don't normally make very, very, very old dogs. Uh, so there you are. So, of course... Hmm, there we are. Hi, Scotty. I haven't caught your broadcast for ages. Nice to be tuned in again, says Gillian McKenzie. There's Shamsu Raymond watching. Stop saying it looks like exciting times. Spill the beans, Scotty. Oh, Rab, I wouldn't know where to start. Shout out to Mandy Murphy, says Jean Stewart. Absolutely. I'm just going to say uh, join us uh, live now. Uh, I'm just sharing this, guys. If that's all right with you, and let everybody know, join us live now, and uh, I'll post that out there. And that's uh, that's the pop-up, as I say, if you can do the same. If you want to come on, have a shout-out from me, Scotty McClure, then you're very welcome. It's looking a bit dark tonight, isn't it? I'm just wondering, does that look better? Um, or is that too bright? Tell me what you think. What's the average lifespan of Lab Scotty? As you know, I have one, and she's only a year old. Oh, I think if you can get them past about eight, nine, uh, you know, that sort of thing, get them into ten, that's always good. Because, of course, the Labs like to have a good tuck-in as well. Um, so I would say probably about 10, 11 years um, you're doing very well. Ian Whitelaw, thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. I mean, if somebody's got much older Labs, do let us know. There's this lighting going a wee bit berserk again. Is it a lean forward, is it? Or lean back. Very, very interesting how this works out. Uh, so we shall see what is what. But that's my experience with labs. But it depends, Jerry, obviously on the genetic makeup of the dog. Depends how happy the dog is. Your little dog will be like mine, extremely happy and thoroughly enjoying life. So we like that. That is fantastic. There's the wonderful Neil Tipping, one of the greatest wizards of the big switchboard McClure ever had. Totally blown my diet this week. Does anyone know what the best diet is? The best diet's kind of what you like, Tony, but not too much of it. John Cameron's watching. Dinky do, John. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClure's pop up just for you to say hi. How's the lighting looking? As I say, do tell. Spill the beans and let us know what is what. I'm just going to share with the group as well to let them know what's happening. It looks a bit dark on here. Um, but there you go. It does sort of swing around a wee bit. Now I'm going to share this to the group. Scotty McClure group and let them know that we're live now and they may come and join us and as I say you guys do the same because it's all in the sharing share 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 and if you want to be shout out let me know uh the group what are we calling the group tonight Scotty McClure always good and <laughs> get that share there how did he do the big stuff so John Cameron very big stuff 
Don't lean back. Hello, Lord McClure. Hope you're well tonight. It says Alan Joyce. Thank you, dear Alan. Scotty, can you give a big shout out to Jaden Stewart? Uh, absolutely, Jaden. And Charlie. Charlie Venables. I can, Ian Stewart. No problem at all. There's Chris Spires has just joined us. Excellent. Welcome, Chris. And uh, we're just letting everybody know. So I shall say, join us live now. Join us live now. Yes, join us live now. And I'll just post that. And uh, as I say, you do the same. Loving the attire. Oh, I like to tidy myself up um, as a mark of respect for who I'm speaking to. The light's a bit dark, says Rab. I'll brighten that up. Chris Spires. Good evening, my friend. Good evening, Chris. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do from me, Scotty McClure, the one stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, here for you, saying dinky do. Alan Morrison, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Now, um, where am I sharing this time? So there we are. Always a big share. McClure's pies are still the best. Susan Forrest says, hi, Scotty, and a kiss. Mwah. Hi, Susan. Mandy Murphy says, Gene Stewart, absolutely. Let everybody know. Uh, we'll share in the group here. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Did Mr. Martin ever go back to England after you gave him a good telling off for insulting Scottish war heroes? Quite right, too. Get the phone in back, says Rab. I know what you mean, Rab. Get the phone in back and dinky do. So I'm just going to pop this out to the group. There we are, Facebook. All the Facebook groups, guys. If you've got any Facebook groups, let them know. <coughs> Here we go. Facebook Live. We'll let them know right now. And I'll say join us live now. Join us live now. And that's going out to Facebook Live group. Fantastic stuff. Uh, you still can't dab John Cameron. Boy, can I dab. I'll tell you that for nothing. Show the nation you're dabbing, Scotty McClure. Uh, Ian Dicky Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. I can dab and I can floss and I can do all these things. Never a dull moment. It does look a bit dull, doesn't it? I wonder if we can brighten up a wee bit. wonder how to uh, go about doing that. Uh, see if we can get it a bit brighter. It seems to be... I don't know if it's a connection or something. Something a little bit strange. Um, but I'll see if I get you a slightly brighter light because it does look a little bit dark, doesn't it? Um, let's see what we got. How's that? Is that better? There we are. Oh, yes. There we are. The lights are going out. The lights are going out all over the world. If we leave the EU, what on earth are we going to do, Gordon Sterling? I say, if we leave the EU, heavens above. So there you are. I'm just wondering, there might be something sensitive about my camera, or I might have pressed a button, and I shouldn't have touched it. You know, that kind of thing. Like, Don't touch it. We told you not to touch it. Oh, does that look better? I don't know. Uh, let me know. There's Dean Burns. Dinky do, Dean. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClue popping up just so say hi to every single one of you. And Dinky do, Fiona Summers, come and join us. Jim Schiavone, lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClue saying Dinky do to every single one of you. Come and um, get a bit of chit chat going. I'm just going to keep sharing. And as I say, you do the same, let everybody know. Did you watch the documentary last night about um, the wee lassie? So there we are. Um, oh, right. Um, I didn't see that, John. No, I have to say. Scotty, you want me to buy your power card if your light's tipped up? Uh, I don't think the Scottish judges would buy it in any way. So there we are. After ruling that Boris Johnson's decision to suspend Parliament was ruled. Well, we won't discuss that, Tony, because that's ongoing and we will see. Of course they are not. Judges are there looking after the law. But remember that uh, down south, there are elements down south that would not like the fact that it's the Scots, because that's the senior house. So there you are. Um, the, David Rendell bought me a Rayland, Reynolds pie today during my moment of need. Bless him, says Gordon Sterling. Bless him, I say. It's a McClure's pie as well. You're needing Gordon Sterling to build you up. Social media is evil 
for the vulnerable, says John. Yes, it's not always the best thing, is it, John? But I'm glad we've got social media because it puts all of us in touch and we can say dinky-doo to every single one of you. I like that. So there we are. It's a good watch, to be honest, says John Cameron. Yes, I think so. I mean, I think we need to hear all the chat. I'm just sending this out to some pages, guys. So you'll probably be getting a bit of this through. And I think it's important. I'll just say, join us live now. Join us live <coughs> now. There we are. I had a touch of the lurgy last week. I do apologize. And with a signaling problem. So last week shows in two parts. But if you can keep sharing and sharing and sharing afterwards, that's always good. Let everybody know what's happening. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. So uh, come and join us. And uh, can you all have a share just now? I'm just looking at the time. When did we actually get together? Uh, can anybody remember the time when we started tonight? My goodness me. But if you can all share to all your groups and all your contacts. I agree with John, says Rab. Uh, so they are. What were you agreeing with, Rab? Remind me. Come on and tell us what you're agreeing with, Rab Hill. We always like to know. There we go. How's that looking? Is that better? Wonderful. Uh, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. So this just fires absolutely, Chris. Very, very important. Tell 10 to tell 10. You come on at 6.45, says so Cole Cutters. Where are you based, Cole? Because you've obviously got a wee time difference to the rest of us. So I probably came on at... No, it's just... I'm a little... What's the time now? Oh, that's lovely. So there you are. What time do you guys have now? Um, Ramages, pies and port sit in the finest. Look after the needy in my neighborhood, says David Rendell. How wonderful, David. We like to hear that. Always interested in the pies. Have you ever tried a McClue's pie? Always say I to a McClue's pie. I say very, very important. Now, are we hat on or hat off? That's the thing. This hat on. So I'll put it on for a little bit just to remind all of you that it's my clue because people are saying, see this guy, I, and the old guy here is, um, oh, he's familiar. But I don't know who it is. So there you go. And of course, Scotty McClue. Uh, do not discuss individual cases or rumors, Scotty. So there we are. Uh, so it's Gordon Stilly. Gordon Stilly, I cannot have that, dear boy. So there you are. I'll just do that out. Uh, Chris Spires says, on. On with the hat. Let everybody know what's what. There we are. Get the hat on. And, uh, and share it with everybody as well. And we can see what is what. 8.40, says the lovely Susan Forrest. Thank you, Susan. Very much appreciated. 8.40. So um, that's the time now, yes. So I've got the right time. Uh, Rab says, social media trolls. They ask better, you sit the bonnet, did you do, says Lily. I know, Lily, absolutely, but, uh, you know, there's a big, there's a bone of contention with the viewers about wearing it in the house. Uh, the hat on looks better, says so Cole Cutters. Uh, the hat off, says Susan. So there we are, right. What we'll do is, uh, we'll, we'll go with what Susan's saying tonight. We'll... Put the hat off, a little thin in the top. Big shock of dark hair, but I use a dye called Silver Fox. So there we are. So we'll put the hat off just now, and then we'll see what is what. In fact, I think you can see a touch of the hair in that picture behind me. Do you see that picture behind me there? That'll let you know what is what. Now, uh, can anybody remember what time we started at? That's quite important as well. And uh, I'll just do another share. Let everybody know. Share, share. <clears throat> Very important. This has been shared on your timeline. Oh, my goodness. That's twice. I didn't get time to tell everybody that we are live now. Is the voice sounding a little bit better? Managed to get rid of the largy a little bit. Lot of largy about. Ooh. But we've got the water for a wee draft in between. A wee draft. Hats off, says Tony Mac. Yes, I think hat off is better, Tony, isn't it? People know it's McClue anyway. Uh, Peaky Blinders hat, me thinks better, Scotty, says David Rendell. <laughs> is that a boating blazer? As in the mod days, of course, Rab. I am a rowing man, and I put it down in my CV, and people thought it was rowing. So there you go. 
See? That'll let you know. So I'm a rowing man, and uh, this is my rowing blazer that people thought it said rowing on the uh, curriculum vitae. There we are. Very impressive curriculum vitae, but I've never actually had a job from it because um, people phone me up on a mobile. It's about nine o'clock at night. They say, Scotty, can you come and do this for me? Could you voice over my advert on the television? Could you uh, come and make a speech at a dinner we've got? Oh, oh, of course, of course. Can he say no? Uh, I'm, a, I'm an incomplete man. I've got no appendix. This Chris Spires. Chris Spires, I'm going to let you into a secret. I have no appendix. And I lost it on the 30th anniversary of World War II starting. I remember my mother coming in to visit me in hospital on a Sunday. Look at good Scott, this is Tony Mac. Thanks, Tony. And uh, Scott is mega mix. Absolutely dance with your granny and your auntie Fanny. And um, I remember my mother coming in. She goes, I can't believe it's 30 years today since the war started. So that must have been, uh, when would that be 30 years? That must have been the 1st of September, 1969. I lost my appendix. Gone. Away. <laughs> uh, Steve Wilkie, dinky do. Hi, Scotty, says Sal Williams. Hi, Scotty, how are you, sir? It's to be hats on today and tomorrow, uh, says Stephen McGregor. Oh, there we are. Oh, maybe I've missed today. Is that light playing tricks with me? I'm just wondering if the bulb's on its way out. <laughs> there we go. There's definitely something strange about the lighting, isn't there? Oh, Right, all that. Um, who has played in an old firm derby, a Dundee derby, an Edinburgh derby, and got four caps for Scotland, says John Cameron. Somebody will give us the answer. I'm not a football man, as you know, Johnny. Talking football or rugby. So there we are. If it's a derby, I'm guessing it's bound to be football. There we are. Ah, yes, bit of a Sherlock Holmes, old McClure, you see. Nothing gets past me, I say. And dinky do to every single one of you. So, question tonight from John Cameron. Who's played in an old firm derby, a Dundee derby, an Edinburgh derby, and got four caps for Scotland? Excellent stuff. Now, let's do some more sharing. Very, very important. I'm going to share to our group and let everybody know that we're live right now. And as I say, if you can do the same, guys, it's all in the sharing. Very, very important to get everything shared. Spirit Scotty messing about with the lights. Yes, my wife had to get an emergency up to remove her appendix. It was grumbling, and she could have had blood poisoning, keyhole surgeries. Amazing. Yes, they opened me right up, Tony Mac. So uh, the thing is, the keyhole surgery, uh, tiny, tiny, tiny. Don't touch it, says Ian Stewart. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Imagine he's talking about the lighting. So there we are. I'm just going to share... To a group here, let you know what is what. Facebook Live, wonderful. <clears throat> and uh, that's up there. And I'll say, join us live now. Does that mean you can't eat grass, Scotty? I think so, uh, Susan, because um, somebody once said, oh, the appendix doesn't do anything. And I thought, no, 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 no. You don't understand the body. Everything in the body does something. And I think it's from the days when we used to eat grass. And uh, as you can see, I'm not terribly good with the salads. <clears throat> I know you need a good bit of digestion for a good salad. Shared, so Sal Williams, lovely. Thanks very much, Sal. Very much appreciated. And dinky do to you, I say. That's excellent. And I shall go join us live now. Join us live now. Should put join us live now or join us live right now. So there we are. Always a bit difficult to know which is the best one. Now, let's get the group and see who we're sharing this with. Okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There we go. Right. 
marvellous. There we go. And uh, if, as I say, if you can do the same. Hi, Scotty. Say hi to my big cousin, Anne-Marie, says Sal Williams. I shall, Sal. I shall say hi to your big cousin, Anne-Marie. Join us live now. I've just posted that. Understood you can't talk about current political court matters. It's fair to say it'll be interesting to see what the current legal outcome will be. Um, so it's not the current one, Tony, it's the next one. The current one has been decided. Gordon Drysdale, thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. The more sharing you can do if you've got contacts and groups, guys, share the world's top broadcast on the first lord of the internet with them. Let them know what is what. Uh, lol, says Sal Williams. I know it is lol, Sal, isn't it? So there you are. It's a bit of fun. Um, hi, Scotty. What's the history of the Waverley? The paddle steamer, says Ian Stewart. The Waverley was built to A.G. Ingalls of Point House. The first Waverley was destroyed at Dunkirk. And um, I was she the second one that? I can't remember. But anyway, <coughs> there was a lovely old paddle steamer called the Waverley, and it was destroyed at Dunkirk. And uh, the captain of the Waverley, I think it was John Cameron at Dunkirk, got given the command of the new Waverley built at A.J. Ingalls and Point House at Govan in uh, 1947. And she was for the uh, North British Railway Company at that time to replace her because all the North British vessels were called after Walter Scott's novels. So there you go. Things like um, the Meg Merrilies, the Waverley, the Lucy Ashton, the Marmion, all characters from uh, Walter Scott's novels. And uh, wonderful, wonderful vessels, of course. And then she was taken down to Greenock and she was fitted out with the beautiful big paddle engines that you see today by Rankin and Blackmore at the Eagle Foundry in, um, is it Baker Street? So there we are, the big bray. Uh, going up at the fire station in Greenock. And um, they'd been hit by a bomb during the war. So they're ranking in Blackmore. And it was uh, my dear friend that actually owned the company and uh, designed the engines for the Waverley. Wonderful. Old age creeping in. I'll be 41 soon. Um, how are we? We're watching from holiday in Italy, says Mark Gibson. That's fabulous, Mark. And dinky do. Wonderful stuff. So there you are. John Cameron, I'm not sure that's appropriate. So there we are. We have to do be careful, I say. Uh, if you've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth's going on, it's Scotty McClure popping up just for you to say dinky-doo and um, give you the latest pop-up. Thank you for watching all the watch parties. That's been tremendous. And we do appreciate it. So wonderful. Andy McCrory, thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. Is that lighter if I do that? Very interesting, this. I'm just wondering if that should be there or there. Uh, we're trying to get the lighting sorted out for you. Uh, Michael Yule, thank you, do. A very warm welcome from me, Scotty McClure. Always come and join us, of course. Let us know. What is what? We'll tell the others we're on as well. So uh, I'm sharing to uh, lots of groups. There we go. Share to another group and say, come and join us live right now. And as I say, if you can do the same, that's fantastic. And then keep sharing for the rest of the week. Dinky do, Scotty, says the wonderful Mark Gibson. Dinky do, Mark. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. I say. Can you see me? Is the lighting okay? From your point of view, do tell. It seems to change. It seems to go light and dark depending on what's what. Is it better if I sit back like that? Does that give us some better lighting? Scotty, you're always fiddling with your lights. Well, Sal, we like to get it right. It's a mark of respect for all you lovely people that are kind enough to watch uh, the pop-ups and let us know what is what? So that's why I tend to fiddle with the lights a bit. I'm going to sit back in a minute. I'm doing a bit of shading here. <coughs> and um, I want all of you to join me uh, because everybody should be coming on to this uh, right now. 
and know what is what. Here we are. There we go. And uh, I'll say join us live right now. Join us live right now. All the switched on people in the world are watching right now. So there you are. Doot, doot, and come out. Uh, Peter Connolly, dinky doo. Good evening, Scotty. Have a good chat, says Den Nice Alcock. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky doo. There we are. Join us live right now. I've just sent that out. That's fabulous. Now, I'm going to sit back, see if we can get the lighting going. Ah, is that the answer? Do tell. Does that look better, folks? Let me know what you're seeing, because I can't necessarily see what you're seeing. <coughs> there we are. Sorry about the cough. Uh, we touched of the lurgy last week, but we're getting over that. I've got my water here. Ooh. And remember to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10 about Scotty McClue popping up just for you on Facebook Live. Excellent stuff. Let me know if you think that's better lighting-wise. Um, I'll do a wee fiddle about there. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, I understand you're a thespian. What's been your most favourite part you've played? People say I should do it. They say I'm always acting up. <laughs> uh, more forwards better. So better a wee bit there. Is that better? Uh, excellent. Uh, here, Scotty, what's your number? My number is number one, Rab. Number one. Should grands wear mini skirts, Scotty? Uh, Helen Cameron, there's Helen, saying, asking, should grands wear mini skirts? I think you wear what you're happy with. And remember, you can be a granny about 30 odd nowadays. You know, so there you go. Um, the name's familiar. What did you do before, says Chris Craig? Um, I was in radio and television, Chris. So there you are. So you may have come across me before. And uh, that's uh, that's possible. So, but only for uh, for thirty five years. So uh, you know, a short career in radio and television, just the thirty five years. Well, we're still ongoing, of course. So thirty five years plus, I would say. Yes, that's better. Says Amanda Jean Sinclair. Is that better? What I'm doing right now, Amanda Jean. Do tell, I say. And can we have a bit more sharing? Um, I'm just going to keep sharing here, let you know what's what, and um, I'll share to the page. We'll tell everybody at Dinky Do. Um, yes, I have, but I can't mind what shows you did. Well, we used to do the big radio station, Scott FM, if you're a Scott, and we would do um, 10 o'clock in the evening till 1 o'clock in the morning, five nights a week. Then the mornings, 9 o'clock till midday. Good evening, Scotty Dinky Do says the wonderful Alistair King, one of my favourite motor engineers. Um, Drew, says Chris Wright. Chris is Connie's old friend, Drew. Uh, good evening and dinky-doo, Scotty, says Alistair. Excellent stuff. Right, I've on to dinky-doo here now. Another page, there's a page called dinky-doo, and I'm going to put join us live. Join us live now. I think it's very important that we get a bit of a pop-up together at least once a week, just for a catch-up. And so there we are. And uh, John Daniels is talking to John Cameron there. <coughs> Wonderful. Right, just sharing that, guys. So, excellent. You got any more sharing to do? Please feel free to do it. Never a problem. Scotty, I was brought up in Dumbarton, as you know. And I now live in Palmont for 13 years. Peter Connolly, Palmont's very nice, I believe. Palmont, close to uh, Falkirk and Linlithgow. Now, is Palmont not also one of the stations on the Edinburgh line? And you've got Falkirk High. I remember that. I'm a granddad and I wear mini skirts, but only on a Tuesday. So, Rab, Rab, your private life's your own son. Uh, you can't beat the Dinky Doo crew, says Alistair King. Alistair King, you will never beat the Dinky Doo crew because we've all been together through thick and thin. I'm not saying I'm thick and thin, 
that we've been together through thick and thin. Hello, Scotty, says Matthew. Hello, Matthew Dinky Do. Excellent stuff. And uh, welcome along to everybody. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue popping up just for you to say hi and dinky do. Oh, why do the lights change like that? Uh, what do you think about Glasgow City Council banning sectarian matches? It's been Scotland's secret shame and we've moved on. What do you think, Scotty? It's an interesting one because... What, um, how does one define a sectarian march? You know, that's because I believe we have several different uh, factions, if you like to say, marching. But having said that, I think it uh, it's no bad thing if we want to try going without the marches, because one's got to say, what is the point? But when you say secret shame, what do you mean? Because I have to say to you that a Hibernian march or an orange walk is hardly a secret. So there we go. Uh, can you say hello to my wee daughter Imogen? She's listening with me. Of course I can. Hello Imogen, dinky do from Scotty McClure. And you're with your paw there, fantastic. Peter Connolly, welcome, welcome. Imogen Welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure's pop-up, just for you, dinky-doo. Uh, tell me what you're thinking, guys. We well, obviously can't comment on any legal stuff, but tell me what you're thinking about the week in politics. Because, uh, as you know, I'm apolitical and have absolutely no agenda. But I think it would be madness, madness to think, to even contemplate coming out of the EU. And I feel that neither the referendum or the proroguing of parliament are uh, democracy at all. I think that a lot of um, people who are a bit slow of study are being worked from the back by the hooray Henrys. So there you are. But you tell me what you think. I'm always interested in what the people think. They're all nuts, says Sal Williams. That's one way of putting it, Sal. We bit of summation there. Who can remember when we started? Goodness sake, I'm keeping an eye on the time here. Um, popping up to see all of you. And I'm just wondering, when did we actually start? Scotty, I think it's time. What's that? I'm missing that. Vladimir Lenin is my hero. Vladimir Lenin. Uh, I've got a new toilet brush today. <laughs> uh, Stephen Dodds has joined us. Dinky do, Stevie. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's pop-up. And uh, good to know you're all out there. Fantastic. Please say hello to my wee cousin, Janie Stewart, and our lovely children in Garrow Hill, says Amanda Jean Sinclair. Hello, everybody, in Garrow Hill there. Dinky do from Scotty McClure. Wonderful. We're just keeping the water going. Uh, keep the voice nice and cool. Um, so who's that? I missed that. Remember Auntie Mabel at Scott FM? I'm sure she was on your show, says Chris Craig. I bet she was, Chris. Hello there, my old China, says Stephen Jobs. Oh, Harrow. Harrow there. I didn't know you went to Harrow, Stephen. Fantastic. So there we go. Wonderful, wonderful. You're an old Harrovian. So Harrow there. Hello to you. Absolutely. Lovely to have you with us. Now, uh, have we all shared and let everybody know? Share, 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 share. I'm just going to share again. Uh, I'll share to another page this time. Let everybody know what's what. I was meaning the way it causes trouble and violence all caused by a small minority who want to cause trouble. I think we can all respect everyone's beliefs. Well, if we respect everyone's beliefs, then the marches would be fine. Nobody would bat an eyelid. They'd say, no, 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 I respect their beliefs. You know, someone say, what do you think of the Hibernian march? I respect their beliefs. What do you think of the Orange Walk? I respect their beliefs. Can everybody say that? I wonder. No. The world's top talk show. <coughs> That's me. I'll, uh, I'm just going to share that as well. Say, join us live. No. Uh, can we all have a share, please? Join us live now. Excellent. There we are. And that's going out to the world's top talk show. 
Uh, had to get that in there, Scotty. One of them nights trying to keep my spirits up. No, no, you keep your spirits up, Alistair King. You deserve the best of everything. Uh, good motor engineers are very difficult to come by. I see. I haven't got that engine started yet, Alistair, but I did get the plug out. So thank goodness for that. But I'm now wondering, do you think that an ECU would die if a car's been off the road for 10 years? What do you think about that one, Alistair? There's, there's one for you. Would an ECU die off if a car's been off the road for 10 years? Shout out to Michelle James. Tell her I love her. She's a belter. She's the best dabber, says John Cameron. Good for you, John. Dinky do, I say. And uh, we'll see what's what. Right. Lots of sharing. That's better. That's much better. Right, everybody. Share, 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 share. As I say, who can remember... When we actually started, is that better if we sit back? Do you get a better view if I sit back like that? Let me know. Oh, it suddenly goes very bright. Now, does it go bright for you or just for me? That's what we need to know. Uh, no, most likely the immobilizer. Ah, Alistair, yes. Now, the immobilizer I've set up, it's on the key. So I give it a bit of the immobilizer and... Um, Two, two clicks on the key. So it's immobilized. Click on the key, immobilizer off. One more click in the key, no light flashing in sight. Is that right? Uh, definitely, says Rab. Champing at the bit for a Sunday talking, says Stephen Dodds. That'll be coming out this Sunday on Nation Radio. Everybody who's in central Scotland, 96.3 on the FM, 10 o'clock sharp Sunday nights, Nation Radio Scotland. And you can shout out, Alexa, play Nation Radio Scotland. Uh, can you give us a wee tune in the box, Scotty, says Lily Patterson. I probably can, Lily. I do have the box there. So we'll maybe get a wee tune just before we go. I think that would be rather nice. Fantastic. So have I got you thinking there, Alistair? She's spinning over and spinning over and spinning over, but no sign of life. And as far as I know, uh, we've got a spark, <laughs> and there's plenty of petrol, fresh petrol. So there we are. The tanks were drained down. Uh, Alexa. So there we are. Play Nation Radio Scotland. Brilliant, says Lily. Yes, that's it. Have you checked and cleaned the earths? Aha. So there we are. Now, is that the little wires screwed on to bits of body work? Could it, could it be a bad earth? Would that be enough to stop it, Alistair? Uh, Scotty McClue, uh, ask Google what conflicts we're ready for. Right, John. Yes, very good. I think you mentioned that before. So there you are. So we shall find out and we shall see what is what. Right. Is everybody sharing and sharing and sharing? Are we all sharing and sharing and sharing? Letting everybody know what is what here. Now, um, on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, guys, I'll pop this up later, and uh, you will be able to get a premiere, hopefully. So around about maybe, I don't know, the 10 o'clock mark, that sort of thing. Um, share to a group. I'm just going to share to another group, let everybody know what's what. It's all in the sharing. Wonderful. Alexa. Play Nation Radio Scotland. Wonder oh, sounds great, doesn't it? And of course you'll get it online at www.nationradio.scot. Make sure you get that on. Do you know the Scottish song, Mary Mac? I love that song. I don't, Tony. It is one I, I'm always willing to learn, you see. McClure's um, maybe into his 30th year now, and I'm still learning. Can you play some hip-hop for Agnes, please? She's ovulating right now, says Gordon Sterling. Yes, how very, very interesting. What, is that a dance? Um, so there we are. Uh, do let us know. Is that like the dashing white sergeant, Gordon? So there you go. Now, uh, let's do a bit of sharing. What group are we sharing with? We can share with... Uh, let me see here. I've just had an idea. Yes. I'm looking at one or two, um, so I can do that. Wonderful. 
and uh, I'll put join us live right now. Okay, join us live now. That's what I'm typing in. Is that fair enough? And I'll send that off to one of the Scottish business groups. Let them know what's what. It's getting a spark. It's getting petrol. It's not the ECU or a mobilizer. Could be fuel pressure. So the ECU would let us know if we're getting fuel and spark. Is that right, Alistair? Um, but would the battery in the ECU have lasted 10, 11 years? Well, about 15 years. Uh, could be fuel pressure switch. It's definitely electrical. How very interesting, the fuel pressure switch. I wonder, where do we find that one now, Alistair? You're, 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 you're getting me very, very interested here. So as I say, she's spinning like crazy, but she's just kind of um, flooding up, you know? And get me, no, I need to leave it. We smell a petrol there. Uh, Alexa, play Nation Radio Scotland. Tremendous. There, I'll try it. Everybody shout together after three. One. Two, three. Alexa, play Nation Radio Scotland. There we are. We like that. Excellent. I'm just going to do a bit of liking. And there we are. Now, um, what else have we got? There's Shell James joined us. Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. And tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClure, just for you, saying Dinky Doo. No, says Sal Williams. What are you knewing about, Sal? Excellent stuff. Uh, don't forget, Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp, Scotty McClure on the radio just for you. Dinky do. Wonderful. Um, Shell, hello. Um, I'll gladly come and take a look at it if you definitely replace the battery for peace of mind. Big battery in there. Absolutely fantastic. Spinning like crazy, Alistair. So no problem with the battery. Um, we're not getting anything, we're getting a good spin. But um, the only thing is, if it is flooded, do I have to take the spark plugs out? Or could we get away with just letting it sit? Um, Scotty, I asked Alexa what to do to keep my in my wife's good books. She hasn't stopped talking for two days. <laughs> we love that. No! Uh, mine keeps talking, says Sal Williams. Oh, I see. Right, okay, Sal, I understand. So it's not a question of just playing Nation Radio. She's talking back to you at the same time. Wonderful. Right, uh, share to the Scotty McClure page. You know there's a page, guys, Scotty McClure, apart from the one you're watching me on. It's got about, uh, I think about 6,000 of you have clicked like, but um, I'm so chalked up with people with um, friend requests. If you can follow me on Facebook, that'd be brilliant. So click follow Scotty McClure and set your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClure goes live. My car lay in a barn for 37 years and I had it running in an hour. I drove it home. Oh, well, there we go, Alistair. So that's okay. So you think the ECU battery would last for 10 years just sitting. What's your opinion on Susan McGuire's and John Cameron? I absolutely adore her, and her show is fantastic, outstanding. One of the world's great radio shows, Susan McGuire Live on Nation Radio in the mornings. Um, now, what am I doing here? Share to page. There we are. Are you all sharing and sharing and sharing and telling 10 to tell 10? So live right now come and join us just a wee bit more of this guys and um, can you all do the same if i'm stopping to share if you share as well she's a belter john carver she's fantastic wonderful so there we go now uh what have i got here um join us live are you all doing tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap on uh, the computer to let everybody know what's happening? They've got just sent that out to Scotty McClure again. Follow you, Scotty. Is that not the same thing as stalking? Stalking is stalking, not stalking. S-T-O-C-K-I-N-G. What do you like, Rab? It'd be great to have Alex understanding Scottish and Glaswegian accent. I'm sure she does. So... 
Alexa, can you pure play Nation Radio Scotland? Uh, 5K, uh, so there we are, John Cameron, that's uh, wonderful. Henry Anderson, dinky do, does it have an OBD port? A diagnostic check will confirm. It's 27 years old, Alistair. So it's probably unlikely. You know, I don't know that there will be one in that. Do you mean for the ECU? Mm. Amanda Jean Sinclair, who's that in the picture behind you? That Amanda Jean Sinclair is me. I'll move to the side and you can see me. Now, do you see Wreath the Labrador? That's my lovely old Labrador, Wreath. And um, he's sitting there now. It was his graduation. He was graduating and coming back on his own scent. And um, I thought I'd chummy him. Dreaming the wife was chasing me, woke up, and she was staring right into my eyes. So they were frightened the bee out of me. <laughs> Where's Mrs. McClue? So there you are. Well, you won't see her there. She's downstairs making Scottish tablet. You all right, my darling? I know. I'll get a wee piece. Yes. I have to watch my figure, though. Aye, because you'll know watch it for me. There we go. Wonderful. Right. So I've given her a shout. Uh, Mike McCabe, how are you? Somebody asked me the other day, they said, what does your wife do? I said, well, it's quite hard to say. She sells seashells on the seashore. Uh, my x reg Volvo has one, so it should have an OBD1 or OBD2. So would that be in the footwell, a wee cord hanging down at the back if you look right up there, Alistair? And uh, Tony Mac, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us, of course. Excellent stuff. A very, very warm welcome. Let everybody know we're live. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And uh, I see there's lots of you joining me, which is wonderful. We like that. But I'd like to get these figures right up there. Um, the pomegranate and rose gin mixed with blue. I don't know what that means. I want a bit, tell the wife to save me some. There's Alistair King. Darling, could you save Alistair King a wee bit of your tablet? And if not, you can have a piece of mine and I'll go without. There we are. I can only go um, for 40 days and 40 nights uh, without tablet. Superb sauce of John Cameron. Wonderful. So, there we go. Just let you all know what's happening. Excellent, excellent, I think. Now, who else have we got? We must keep the sharing going because that's what it's all about. Scotty, my wee daughter Imogen is away to bed now and because you said hello to her, all our primary two class of Parliament will know who you are on Monday. I thank you for that. OMG, Scotty McClue, 96.3 FM. OMG, brings back memories, says Stephen Allen McFadden. Fantastic. Uh, ask her to come to your place of viewing. Uh, you center console are under the driver's foot well. Ah, Alistair, I'll look that up. Come on, Scotty. Uh, this is Mike McCabe, dinky do. Show us Mrs. McClue. She's a wee bit shy, son. I don't think she'd want to come on. A wee bit embarrassed. She's got her apron on as well. She needs to take her penny off because she's making tablet, you know. you got to watch. So there we go. I wouldn't like to embarrass her. I'd never, ever hear the end of it. Uh, right. Now, we're going to try and find somebody said to me to get a burner phone. And then you can all phone me and we can chit-chat live on the program. But I thought we could do, uh, there's face, FaceTime or Facebook talk, isn't there? And we could just do it that way. Uh, it looks like a Scott plug. I've got you, Alistair. Yes, I had one in my old, uh, my old Range Rover had one of these. I used to run these old Range Rovers because you could move house in them. Can you ask to Mrs. McClure to save a wee bit of tablet? Don't tell Mrs. Mac. She's on my case with my diet. So there we are. Is tablet one of your five a day, Tony Mac? Uh, you've got to tell. Do tell, I say. So there we are. What we had, Alistair, we, I used to have a suspension kicker. 
on it uh, as well. So there you go, wonderful. Uh, behind a great man, there's always a great woman, says so John Cameron, I think. <coughs> there we are, John Cameron. That looked as if you'd made a spelling mistake. I've taken it out. So, wonderful. Say a wee bit tablet, a little bit of water. Oh, that's lovely. Now, guys. Share, 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 share right now. Excellent stuff. Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Always a bit of a pop-up and a bit of a chit-chat. Wonderful. Now, we've got to share again. And uh, I'm going to share... Now, who am I sharing? Where am I sharing here? Share in a group. The group's always enjoying. Tracy, how dinky do? Scotty McClue, just for you. The one stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. If you've just joined us, welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you with us. I'm just wondering what time we've got here. It's maybe time I pushed off. Uh, but I'll see what we've got. There we go. Oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, wonderful. Right, there we go now. Yes. Pardon me. Excellent. Live now. Uh, and just pop that in. Wonderful. There you go. That just lets everybody know what is what. I'll sell you a wee smart car, Scotty. It's a 1.5 diesel, 2005 plate, four door, used for some tablets. <laughs> Lovely, Alistair. What a top man you are. Fantastic stuff. I will get this wonderful beast running again because they're very, very lovely. And, uh, and we shall do that. Uh, you'd have loved the suspensions kicker. It was, as you probably know, just a wee scart unit. And you just plugged it into the scart plug and up went the old air suspension again. Uh, Daniel Kaying. Kayingi. Daniel Kayingi. Lovely to see you. He says, hello, nice to see you, Daniel Kayingi. Let me know where you're watching from, please, because we are worldwide. We like to do a lot of Scottish chat, but we are worldwide. You can call it the Flying McClure. Yes, David Negus. Welcome, welcome, I say. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. Excellent stuff. John McClucky. Nice to see you, Scotty. Always nice to see you, John. And thanks for coming and joining us. Folks, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet with a wee pop-up just for you, Scotty. And in... An intelligent test says, five times quickly, what do you put in the toaster? Intelligent test says, most five times quickly, what do you put in the toaster? Uh, bread, I would think. Hi, Scotty, says Susanne Ennis Murray. Welcome, Susanne. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. Welcome to Scotty Clues pop-up, just to say hi. Airbag suspension was awful, especially when the bus. I know I had to replace them because eventually they just gave up the ghost. Whoosh. But, and as you know, when it's not working, you thought your backbone was actually going through your brain there. But when it was working, it was outstanding. It really was. Uh, Dinky Doo, Scotty, how are you, my lord? Says David Negus. Better for hearing from you and seeing you, David. Uh, I've had three fantastic off road. Excellent, Alistair. No, very, very good. I remember being in a wood and uh, we'd gone down into a bit of a dip and I got away on the three wheels. Just superb. Wonderful. Pardon me. Here we are. We touched on the lorgy last week, as you know, folks. I've been at the water. Ah, wonderful. Scotty McClue saying dinky do to every single one of you. Now, uh, James Ritchie is watching. Welcome, James. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Always enjoy that. And uh, I'll just do a wee refresher here. I've got another device in front of me. I'm just doing a wee refresher on it. So can we all share, share, share again? 
There's um, Rich Clues. We allowed to get a grand tour of your studio. Well, Rich, you're uh, you're seeing it all. I say you're on the grand tour. Watching Scotty McClue is a grand tour. Eric McKenzie, Dinky Doo, welcome, welcome, welcome from Scotty McClue. Lovely to have you with us. They don't make cars like they used to, Scotty. Ten years and they're scrap. No, you could pick up these gorgeous old beasts, of course, and refurb them, Alistair. You got the bits and pieces. Uh, and, of course, what I loved about the three-and-a-half, I adored that three-and-a-half petrol, uh, the old Buick engine. Lovely, lovely. And that was in the Rover three-and-a-half. I was very, very cross with Margaret Thatcher for getting rid of these government Rovers that could probably have been running yet, you know. That was the P5B, I think, wasn't it? Um, so you're quite right, they don't make cars like that. I mean, I know Margaret Thatcher did an awful uh, lot uh, worse things than get rid of P5B Rovers, but that was a pretty serious one in my book. She thought that uh, the public might see more than they'd bargained for as she was getting uh, out of them. But there you are. But I can't see uh, anybody in particular being terribly bothered about that. John Hepburn, dinky do a very warm welcome from me, Scotty McClure, with our Friday pop-up just for you to say dinky do. We want to see your radio studio. Oh, my radio studio. Oh, my goodness me. Well, it's very flash. It's just a radio studio. People used to say to me, could I come in and see the show going out? And, of course, there's nothing to see because radio is a chair and a microphone. Uh, have you had a power cut, Mr. Scott McClure? Talks like I suspect. Have you no paid your lecky bill? No, we've paid it. But what happens, apparently if I sit back, it goes bright. And if I sit forward, it goes dark. Do you see that? So there we are. Rich Cruise is laughing. Uh, mine had the 2.5 BMW turbo diesel, six under, very reliable, absolutely bomb proof. I had one of these, Alistair. That was the P38. Is that right? And um, super car, very good car, and of course, very well built. So there you are, the build quality. Tremendous, tremendous. That's right. But I do like the big old classic. And you used to be able to pick them up for uh, for washers, as they say, because they were thirsty. <laughs> now then, Rich Cruz is laughing, of course. Absolutely. Does that look better, folks? A little bit brighter again? We will sort all this out, you know. Not a problem. I did have the backlight on, but I think it got too bright. The old backlight. Is this too dark? Is it better if we say, what happens if we do that? Does that look brighter, guys? Can you see more if I sit back like that? Do let us know. Wonderful, wonderful. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Scotty McClure. Now, if you're an alien life form from another planet and you've never actually heard of me, I'll spell it for you. Capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty. And the McClure, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. There we are. Yes, that's better, says David Negus. Have we cracked it, do you think, David? So if I sit back like this, we've actually cracked it, would you say? Is that the, is that the winner now? Can I put that off and just get by on that? How does that look, guys? Do let us know. Uh, yes, on an old uh, average with the 2.8, um, so they were a Daihatsu conversion. Very nice. You can put anything. I've even seen a Land Rover with a Gardner diesel in it, small Gardner. Very interesting. It would go at a steady pace, I dare say. But I did like that, and I like that idea of the Gardner diesel. So let us know. How's that looking, guys? Is that better? David Negus. You are our lighting critic, so can you tell me, please? Uh, there's a man that would know exactly how this looks. Jim Heron, one of the finest uh, theatre people I've uh, ever met. They are wonderful designer. And um, you'll know Jim Heron. How does that look from a theatrical point of view? Um, do you think that we've, uh, we've got the lighting right? Uh, yes, that's better now, says Amanda Jean Sinclair. Has it been awfully dark throughout the, the piece? Um, behind every good man's a very stressed woman. <laughs> Us men be nothing without the great women in our life. Love you, Mrs. Mack, if she's watching. 
Hey, Tony, a wee dedication to your missus there. Well done, you, I say. How does that look? Thank you. Superb, says David Nagus. Wonderful, David. Very much appreciated, I say. Has uh, everybody told 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue popping up just for you to say dinky do? Scotty for Prime Minister, says Robert T. Kerr. Yes, bit of a hot tatty. <coughs> at the moment, the old Prime Minister job. My friend is an old Essex 3-litre V6 in his Defender. Wow, that will, uh, that will go some, but the Defender's got her own pace, of course, I would say. Uh, John Robertson, dinky-doo, very warm welcome to you. Hi, Scotty. Uh, our salute train will pull anything says Alistair King, a salute train, you've got me there, a salute train will pull anything, very interesting, right, now I'll work that one out Alistair, I don't know if that's in some great code or something, I don't know if you maybe uh, have what in, uh, in coding, you know, were you based down south during the second world war or something like that, but I will no doubt work that out now, I'm just looking at the time, guys. I'm going to have to push off, and so are you. Been an absolute joy and a privilege, as it always is, being with you. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, now, we promised Lily a wee tune. Whoa, did you see that? Let me see if I can get a hold of the box. Oh, dear. See what's what, I say. Come on. Oh. Ah, yes. There we go. The box, okay, just so that you know it's there, because some of you think, is he really playing that? What's going on here? You know, all that kind of carry on. What would you like, Lily? Uh. <laughs> Did you like that? Everybody know what that's called? So there we are. Just before we go, let's see if we can get a title for the piece that McClure's just played on the box. Wonderful stuff. Good night, Scotty. Good night. God bless my friend. The face says it all, says David Negus. Oh, absolutely, David Negus. Heavy concentration there. Um, did we pick up what the tune is called? Has anybody got that one? Would you like to have a wee go at that? just before I go and say dinky-doo and good night to all of you. Right, um, so I see what you think. Anybody know what the tune's called? Any wizards out there that think, um, have you heard of it before? Was it familiar? That's always step one. Right, I'm going to push off and I say to every single one of you, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this pop-up. And uh, there will be many more where that came from. I'm going to upload it onto YouTube so you can get a wee swatch later, a wee premiere, and uh, you'll get a shout out again. Is that not fantastic? Give us a wee thumbs up or a wee heart if you're watching right now, and I shall say dinky do to you. Lily Patterson, that was dedicated to you. And uh, thanks very much. Good night. God bless. Did you like it, Lily? And did you know what it was called. We'll, uh, we'll put that out to the nation and see if anybody comes up with that. David Nagel says good night, pal. Good night, David. Lovely to have you with us. And from me, Scotty McClure, to every single one of you, dinky do. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. The song, take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. 
and a cheerio. Night, night, my loves. Dinky-doo.